Monkey 1000 and today I was showing you brew right now. We are in well St. Pete. This is St. Pete and we've been here before but this time we are going to car camp in our vehicle and fish here. You can get up on the pier over there and fish on there, which we wanted to do, but Bruno's not allowed to be up there. Uh, so, to fish down here, it's very peaceful and quiet. It is windy. But, you know, I'd rather have the wind than no wind because it is friggin' hot in Florida. So, yeah. So, we are going to try to fish here if we can. walk down there a little bit. Maybe it's thinner. Throw it. I don't know. We'll try it and see how we like it. We can move. There's another one. We just went over the bridge with Shane Bear Show. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, so we're going to car camp here. Maybe. Unless we decide to go to the other place and check it out. But the other ones are pretty crowded. This one ain't probably because of the bomb. Huh? Oh, we can go down the other one. That's probably why there's nobody here. Mm, I don't know. Looks like a tour boat out there. Anyways, this is available 24 hours, and so a lot of people just camp up and fish. And uh, yeah, we would have loved to have been up on the pier because it would have been more fun. But um, we can't go through. We're stay at home. With my, mom. my mom can't let them out. And stuff, so. Well, we'll see what we're gonna do, and we'll get back to you. right here and then we left we went to look at the other ones but they're really busy and a lot of rvs so we have to listen to all the rv and the music and stuff so we came back here it's quieter and we have to deal with the rocks i guess that's what we'll have to deal with anyways we found this over here and that's something it's pretty sad it looks like there was kids involved in this very sad so, uh, father and looks like maybe two kids because there's a pink um, fishing line and a <coughs> also a red one, a blue and red. So I'm thinking there was a boy and a girl involved in this. So, anyways, guys, so we decided to come back, but we moved over. Once I saw that, I didn't want to be beside it. So, nothing against it, I just didn't want to be near it. So, we parked here. And lots of shade here, more shade here than the other place. <coughs> There's a guy next door here, I don't know if he's staying or not. But here, we can kind of get in here and if there's a hammock. He's got his hammock so he can put his hammock up in here if he wanted. Anyways, so we're going to try it here and see what we get. Uh-oh. He's trying to do <coughs> that fishing rod. So I put my chair out there and just kind of waiting. It's low tide right now, so kind of just taking a break. So I'm going to sit down and rest and drink something and then probably fish. Let's see what he's doing to his poor rod. Ooh, that don't look good. And he worked on it hard last night. Dang, look at that. So, anyways, we'll be back. 
Okay guys, you see that bag hanging there? It's got a note in it. And it says to please respect my brother. He was shot here. So the, oops, sorry, I messed up. Here it is, it's getting windy. And um, it's hanging in the tree over here. It must have been blowing or somebody moved it or something. But anyways, that's what it says on there. I thought it was a geocaching thing. But I guess that memorial that her little brother got killed there. He was shot. So that's the story we found so far. I had to get in the car. I had to eat something. I was getting the shakes, and I can't do that with diabetes. So And cooling down, and I'll go back out there with Shaver and try to fish some more. He had um, a dolphin took his bait. So there's a lot of dolphins around here, big time, because they try to get your bait and um, pelicans. They try to grab your bait too. So anyways, that's the news that we found out on that little memorial. Okay guys, so <laughs> the sun's starting to go down. That's friggin' awesome. Wow. Really pretty. Yeah. Look at that. Take a picture with this. Yeah, it's out of focus now. There it goes. Ugh, that's so gorgeous. So pretty. Shaver's got his drone. He's going to put it up in the air. Let's see how well this works. It's so pretty. Let's see over there. They're all going to the pier that we can't go to because we have a dog. So, no dogs allowed on the piers. But look at that line up. Oof. Line up, line up. There we go, it's just going up. There it goes, guys. It's like it's going in the ocean. Awesome. Almost gone. And there it goes. Beautiful. Okay guys, I caught a fish. Yay, he's a little baby, but I caught one. That's all that matters. Yay. Not bad. They're biting now. 
think Shea Bear's caught a big fish and it's getting darker out. It's a cool picture though, isn't it? They get getting caught in the rocks here. <laughs> so he has to go down there and get, and I can't get him for my, my reel at all. So he keeps trying to, oh, he got one. He got a fish, he got a fish. This is bigger than mine. Yay. Wow. What'd you get, catch the catfish? Yeah. Oh, you got a catfish bigger than mine. Yep. Maybe that's the mommy. Maybe. <laughs> you caught one, you caught one. <laughs> so, that's why I catch some more. I like to catch something besides catfish though, because we can get those at home. <laughs>
Okay guys, so we got Bruno up on the pier, so we, we just drove in and paid and I don't think she saw him. <laughs> so we're up here on the pier. It's nice and cool. Isn't it beautiful? That bridge is just gorgeous. Shea Bear got something with his drone. Got a lot of footage with his drone and stuff, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna fish and Shea Bear got a bait already. We only been here for a few minutes. So if you get something good, we will be back. Okay everybody, so I hope you liked the video. Um yeah, it's been a few days since um we came came home what yesterday? Yeah. I was sick. I got really sick. Um I was laying in, I went to bed at 2 in the morning, didn't catch any more fish, so I figured, well, I'm going to go lay down because I'm the one who had to drive home. And so, uh, I think Shea Bear stayed up till 4 in the morning, and uh, uh, so I woke up, and I was dizzy. I mean, really, really dizzy. Now, I did do something I shouldn't have done that didn't take my insulin the night, the, at night. So, um, I don't know why, I just didn't want to, sometimes you just don't want to do it. And that was one of them. So, I was tired, it was hot, it was sticky, you know, and I didn't feel like trying to do this needle with my pores open, so it would have hurt. I know it would have. So, anyways, I figured I'd be fine. I thought, well, maybe my sugar went real high. And I didn't bring my tester. I left it with my mother because her tester, she needs some more strips. So it's one of those things. So I wanted to make sure she she took hers. So um, anyway, so I did I did gradually start feeling better. I drank some Gatorade on the way home, um, but I'm still dizzy today. I still got a little bit of vertigo going on. So I'm thinking it had nothing to do with my sugar. I'm thinking it had to do with the heat. I might have got a little bit of heat stroke maybe. Something like that. I've had it once before but it was many moons ago. And it wasn't in Florida. <laughs> of all places I had heat stroke as a kid in Canada. Yeah. So um but you know, it, it sometimes is better and then sometimes it's not. So maybe it's going to take a few more days. But um, when I got home, I was exhausted. I had a shower, lay down, I was done. So, um, and today I had to take my mom to the doctor. So um, I wasn't able to finish the video. I wanted to get up and I wanted to see the sun come up. I kind of saw it. I po poked my head up <laughs> so I could see it. But I got so dizzy, I had to lay back down, and um, it was beautiful what I saw. It's awesome. Really awesome. So, if you ever go to St. Pete, it, it's the sun, sunset is beautiful, and the um, sunrise is gorgeous, too. So, you, you need to go check that out if you, if you got any time and you want to go down that way. But not in the summer, especially right now. We're having such a heat wave. It's... I don't ever remember it being this friggin' hot, you know. We lived on the beach, but um, the highest I ever really got when I was living over on the in Daytona was 90s, and that was really hot, um, you know. So most of the time, we always had some kind of breeze, and it was like in the high 80s in the summer, and in the evening it would go down to maybe the low 70s. Or sometimes in the high 60s. But um, this is awful. I mean, you really can't do much of anything. And we thought, I was thinking when I, I suggested it to him, um, you know, I was like, well, we're going to be by water. We're going to have a nice breeze. We're not going early. So, because we did mostly nighttime stuff there. I mean, we I don't think we got there until about 3, 30, 4 o'clock. And, um, you know, the sun was kind of coming down. It was still hot, but it was hot the whole time. Even with the breeze, you got a warm breeze. It wasn't, there was no relief in it. But um, I'm glad we went. I want to go again, but the next time we go, we're going to go when it's cooler. <laughs> Not then. We're getting ready to have a thunderstorm. I just wanted to put this at the end of this video. Um, I didn't, 
I, I got my other two up, so um, my Timu ones came, I came, so I got them up, and um, so this is my other one, so I want to get this one done tonight. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was an awesome bridge. It was beautiful to see the, see the lights on the bridge. Um, they, I think they've done a great job on that bridge. It's, it's just amazing. Just to see, it's like an awe moment, you know? And, uh, yeah, if you ever go there, you should check out their pier, the, 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 the pier up there, uh, St. Pete Pier, so, um, what do they call it, the Sky, Skyway, Skyway, I believe it is. Anyways, so, um, yeah, it, it's fun. I want, we want to go again, and he looked it back up again, and he found that Bruna Cucco, so, I don't know if they had a controversy that they didn't have dogs were allowed at one time, and then they changed it, I, I don't know, but the lady let us have the dog on there, she, she must have seen him in the back, she asked us how many, I said two, and she gave her my money, and she gave me the sticker and my change, and we just drove on nobody bothered us and of course Bruno stayed in the car with the windows down mind you and um the only bad thing is there's nowhere for an animal to really go to the bathroom there so you'd have to get off the bridge and uh there's a little area where we went the fir first part of, of it um he could go in there and go to the bathroom if he needed to but otherwise, the bridge, no. There's nowhere. I mean, you park on the side, as you could see, and there's just that cement there and fish. <laughs> so, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. And, yeah, I hope to go again soon. Um, yeah, when it's cooler. A lot cooler. <laughs> but it was a good experience. And that's what I put it down to. Experience. <laughs> so... That's it for now. Monkey Sush is out and have a great week, the rest of the week, and uh, I'll be back soon. So stay tuned. There's plenty more. Bye, y'all.